Hi everybody, Mr. Thompson here, looking to solve checkpoint 7 on page 297. We have 120 feet of fence to put up to make a rectangular garden. Now, we're trying to find the maximum area, the biggest that this rectangle can be, the most area inside of it. So let's give some variables. Let's call these sides x and these sides y. Now, our second step is to find an equation for the thing we're trying to maximize, which is the area. So our area of our rectangle is x times y. Now notice, area is now a function of two different variables, x and y. We don't want that. We only want area to be a function of a single variable. So in order to fix that, we need one more equation, which is going to involve x and y, which we can use to substitute out the area into the area equation. Now, that equation uses the one piece of information we haven't used yet, which is that there's 120 feet of fence, or the perimeter. So 120 is 2x's plus 2y's, or if I divide everything by 2, 60 is x plus y. Now, with this second equation, I can substitute in and eliminate one of my variables, x or y, thereby making my area equation a function. So let's get rid of the y variable. So I'm going to take solve for y here, subtract x. And now since y is equal to 60 minus x in this equation, y in this equation also must equal 60 minus x because we're talking about the same rectangle. And now my area equation is x times 60 minus x. Or area is 60x minus x squared or to make it look nice and pretty, negative x squared plus 60x is the equation of the area of my rectangle as a function of a single variable x. Now this is very useful because I can now use my quadratic, which we're used to, to find the maximum. Now how do we find the maximum? Well, of course, we're looking for the vertex. And how do we find the vertex? Of course, negative b over 2a. So let's use negative b over 2a to find the x value of the vertex, and that would be negative 60 divided by negative 2, which is 30. Okay, so my x value is 30. That means that my y value is also, in this case, 60 minus 30. So y is also 30. So in this case, it actually happens that both x and y are 30 and the area would be 900 square feet. In this case, the rectangle is maximized when it is actually a square. Notice when x and y are both 30 feet, the area is 900 square feet. Thanks guys, bye.